Hey all and welcome back to Fuzzy Ducks Gaming and a new video on the channel and the start of League Start Testing. I've played a couple of builds that I was going to bring videos out on but I just didn't quite love the builds enough that I want to League Start them and that was Rain of Arrows Champion which worked really well I'm just probably a bit fed up of Rain of Arrows and I did, did try a Guardian Mirror Arrow of Bombardment which for the gear that I had worked really well I was clearing out red maps on a five link it just wasn't really my play style it was slightly too many buttons and even with trying to get some speed into the build it felt a little bit clunky it may be something i bring a leak start guide out on if no one else does what we're looking at next is a smite champion i've decided next league i want to try a armor stacker it's not something that you can leak start and these lots of gear that isn't available at the very beginning of the league and can be fairly expensive so what i'm looking to do is try and find a smite champion build that can at least farm in red maps to get some currency to then transition into an aura stacker in the way of stacking armor because i don't really want to have to build up another character and i want to try and use the skill i'm going to use at end game from the beginning leveling which i'll bring a separate guide out for because i am going to do a fresh run on this character was ridiculously smooth the first few acts are a bit clunky because i use smite all of the way once you unlock your ascendancy and you pick up some key masteries and you get some weapons with a tiny bit of damage on i was absolutely melting enemies bosses were going down in seconds i felt really tanky it was just a really really fun build to level with and once you get your third lab done and you get your fortify it really really felt good early white maps and yellow maps also felt really good but at that point the way i built the character started to fall off because I built the character with lots of masteries that give you increased damage and the more damage you get and the more increased damage you get the less effect these have. So I did push to red maps but the single target was pretty poor the way I built it but it was good enough. It could do guardians and conquerors, it get my first two void stones and it can map in fairly unjuiced T60 maps. All I'm looking to do is have a build that can maybe earn 10 to 20 divines so I can switch to a budget starter and then we'll go from there. The skill I've decided to build around is Smite, just because it's really, really fun to play. It does lack in single target damage if you're not doing something to really juice up the aura and juice up your damage, and that is noticeable on bosses, but Vile Smite is such a fun skill. It's probably not going to be my end game skill, because I think something like a Vile Ancestral War Chief or a Vile Molten Shell will bring more benefits in the long run, but it is just so fun to go map in, press a button, and you blow up pretty much the entire screen. So the way I've played this character so far, I leveled it in an SSF environment but on my trade account because I want to make some purchases when I'm through the campaign. And as I said, that went really, really smoothly. I then stayed on that four link SSF type setup uh, for white maps, felt very, very smooth. Went up to a five link into yellow maps and just some simple essence crafted weapons and most of the gear I came out of the campaign with. And that took me through my yellow maps and through Uber Lab. I did feel though that it needed a six link and some better weapons when it got to red maps because single target was definitely noticeably lacking. So that's one bit I need to look at whether I stick with the setup that I've gone, which I'll go through in a little bit at the end of the video, or whether I need to work out another way to go once I get to red maps. My issue is I don't want to spend more than I need to because we're going to drop nearly all of the gear when we decide to go armor stacking. So I don't want to spend money that I then probably can't recoup because what might be 100 chaos on day one of the league, by the time I'm ready to transition on maybe day four or five, it might be worth 5C. So I don't want to go wasting that currency unless I really, really have to. Put a POB in the video description for where the character is now. This is probably slightly past what I would say would be my league start gear, um, but not far off. So we'll go through the way I've set the character up and the tree. Let's say this is really just a quick video to introduce my first build that I want to league start test because I am going to go through a fresh run with it on a new account so I can simulate a league start trade environment and just see how it performed because the way I've done this character I took it through the campaign but then I'm obviously through to my completed atlas I've got as many maps as I want to run um, I can then if I want to add some gear bit by bit rather than have to grind it or grind the currency to buy that gear but I haven't gone overboard I think I've probably got gear similar to the expense that I spent on my champion this league at around day three or four, which would be about 10 to 12 divine investment. It could even be less than that. I've basically put all of my currency into these weapons. It may be because these aren't the most desirable bases in the world that these are actually not expensive at all. And then it halves the price that I might have to spend on the build. The rest of it has just gone on a six link and then some essences and eldritch currency not got any jewels in the build at the moment it's just all points on the tree and the gear that you see here so in terms of the tree 
I'm dual within two different weapons, swords and axes. The main reason being is that's the reason that I leveled because of this mastery here that gives you 60% increased damage. At this stage of the build, it's probably only 6 or 7% more damage, but it's still better than anything else. And the way I want to build the tree, I don't have the points to go and spec into weapon specific nodes because I want to get lots of um, aura effect, reservation efficiency, accuracy, suppression, lots of stuff that means I just don't have the points left to go and take uh, weapon specific nodes. Um, so in a moment, I'm just testing the altar farming. So we'll do a very quick map showcase and then I'll just close out the video because I do plan on doing a step by step guide on how to build this character. One thing I will do, because I do have an idea for a budget entry level armor stacker, is I'll just progress that character to that stage. I think it's probably going to be at least start 20 to 30 divines. And that's going to then give me a character of probably six or seven times the damage of what you're seeing here. And hopefully a lot more defenses. Um, so if I do do that, I may bring out another quick update video. So we'll just run this map here. So I'm just ping pong in between Mesa and Jungle Valley. Um, just scoured maps. I don't need to be out because I've got um, a wandering path tree set up. And I'm just doing altars when I'm in Jungle Valley. And I'm just boss rushing when I'm in Mesa. Um, but we'll just go and... Let's put some sound on quickly. We're just going to do a bit of clear and just showcase the build. So then we've got two charges for our Vol Smite. Which you just basically press the button. It will just clear big, big packs of mobs. There we go, there's some maps on my next run. And we're going to quickly kill the boss. The build feels amazing until you have to go and kill a boss. <laughs> it doesn't feel as good um, as you'll see in a moment. And I forgot to put Blood Rage on, didn't I? I did. Do it now for a bit of extra attack speed, but we don't have frenzy charges. And this is kind of what life's like at the moment, single target wise. The boss has got no chance of killing me with the defenses I've got, but it is a little bit annoying um, that the gear is probably slightly better than I can realistically achieve in the first few days. Um, and it's going to take a little while to kill bosses, but this build is really meant for mapping really quickly. Um, so we'll go and alternate and we'll do a jungle valley. Remember to put blood rage on this time. we we'll just go and then we just blow up the packs with our smite. And then just go through hunting for altars. The usual league start kind of setup. And then every time your adrenaline falls off, just stick it back on. And that's kind of how to build maps. It feels pretty good. Um, I do find the build, in terms of the skill, quite a lot of fun. Just like blowing up packs always feels good to me. It's kind of the way I like to play the game. So we're just going to take out a few more packs when we get our bar skills back. And in this corner for me to blow up? There is not. That's a shame. Right, so let's get out of here. And the build has felt smooth all the way through. It's just the fact I think it's going to need quite a bit of investment to get single target. Now, there are other options of leveling a champion. You can go Bone Shatter. You could probably go, um, like I said, Reign of Arrows. I'm pretty sure you could do the Steel skills. I just really like the feel of Smite, even if the single target is a bit lacking. So I have put a POV in a video description for where the character is now. I'm not going to go through gem links, the tree in full details or anything like that, because I do plan on doing a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, for this video what i thought i'd do is just showcase a guardian map just to show you that even though the single target is massively lacking because we have got pretty good defenses with very close to max spell suppression big armor innovation and fortify and decent leech vitality things like that it, we should be able to just stand in whatever minute or dishes out to us we're probably going to take about a minute to kill him i'm not going to lie but it should be fairly safe We won't do Delhi because I have a feeling that might be asking for a bit too much on um, a build that needs quite a bit more investment. <laughs> I 
Uh, we won't be able to hang around for the breach. Oh, got another level. Oh, get out of there. Probably don't want to get blown up by that. Those mana siphoners do cause issues, though, even with vitality. I don't know if they shut off your um, recovery, uh, but they're absolutely melting me. I don't know what skill that is, but we'll level it up. So a drop portal in case I do die, but I think we should be fairly safe. Like I say, it is a bit of a yawn fest doing this. Like I say, you can pretty much just stand there. Um, which is kind of what I wanted. I would like, obviously, for the single target to be better. And that's something I need to try and figure out um, in the next video. But that's kind of what the build plays like. And it's comfortable enough. I haven't tried many of the bosses. I don't know how Maven and Ubred will go. Because they've got lots of different kinds of attacks. I think Maven would be fine. It would just take a while. Ubred would probably just have to manage uh, the ball degens a bit better than I normally do. Uh, but that's something that we may come to in this series. If not, I'll just have to see how it is at League Start uh, if I decide to go with this character. I think this is the route I'm going to go unless there's obviously changes to the skill or the champion or they bring out a really, really fun looking new skill and we'll just dive into that and see where it takes us. Uh, that's it for this video. More to come hopefully on this skill and build. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you in the next one.